love you, FTV. I'm the Dread. Let's fly RC here. I'm Mako Reactra. And we are out at this beautiful location of Banda. Well, for us drone pilots, this is actually a beautiful place yeah. because there's so much awesome stuff to fly here. But there's also so many places that you can crash and maybe have a little bit of a hard time finding your drone. Yeah, and you're, sometimes your battery gets unplugged and you have no way to find your quad. That's when you're gonna have the hardest time finding a crash drone because you can't turn on your beeper, you can't see through your goggles. This has resulted in some serious drone search missions where we're wading through grass with metal detectors trying to find something. So companies have kind of thought like this might happen. So they've made a beeper that has a battery attached to it. So when your battery unplugs, it'll still beep. Yeah, this is the ViFly Finder 2. It has its own built-in battery and that battery will power the system and after a few seconds of not having power, then it starts to beep on its own. Yeah, which sounds like a really good it idea. Sounds like a really good idea until you have to unplug your drone and then it starts beeping and you're like, what is that noise? Right. Everyone at the flat field is like mad at you. These things are so annoying. What usually annoying. happens to me is it gets ripped off and thrown in the trash because it's annoying. Yeah, it's so <laughs> annoying because it adds an extra step to unplugging your quad. So we're always looking for a different way that we might be able to find our drones when the battery comes unplugged that doesn't have so many obnoxious trade-offs. And I was going through Best Buy one time and I saw the Apple AirTag. These things were initially invented to, you know, find your lost keys, right? You lost your keys. You can say, Siri, where are my keys? Find it, Siri. So oh, look, fair. look, I got the arrow. I got the arrow. <gasps> arrow. I got the arrow, where is it? The where are they? Cool. Oh, there they are, right where I, right where I threw them dramatically. I mean, to be fair, there's a company that made this technology way before Apple called Tile. Right, I think the Bluetooth that Apple is using now has better range. It can also locate based on anyone else's Apple device. Oh, you could just do it with an Apple iPhone. Anyone that has an Apple. Okay, that's pretty iPhone, sick. iPad, whatever, if they walk by it, that's they don't sick. need to have like some third party app installed. Yeah, that's way better. It'll ping you. Okay. Apple always knows where you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I don't need privacy. I need to find my truck keys, okay? <laughs> We're gonna put this to the test. We're gonna see, is an AirTag actually a good way to find your drone? Can it compete with the ViFly buzzer? So we got two teams of two here, and one team is gonna crash a drone somewhere, and the other team is gonna have to use one of the tools to try to find that drone. One of you guys is gonna fly a drone, crash it somewhere with my AirTag installed. Then Mako and I are gonna race to try and find it. We're not gonna have any idea where it is. We're gonna crash one of your drones with the okay. Wi-Fi buzzer installed. And you guys are gonna try and use that to find out where it is. What do you do? Those props are fine. What do you mean you gotta change them? I gotta change my props. These are fine, let's just fly these. Mm -mm. I need props, different props. Why is he changing props? He's gonna put gray props on. What? As camouflaged as that can be, better. So Sean's got the drone all ready. No battery strap, we've just got some Velcro on either side. We're gonna stick it on. Tricks and then, boom, she's gonna crash. Battery's gone. Hopefully this thing makes some noise and we can find it. If He's not, always throwing things at me. Your drone's gonna be gone forever. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Okay. That's loud. That is so loud. That's so much louder than the air tag. <laughs> oh my god, make it stop! I'm already so mad about it. <laughs> to make it stop, one way to do it is to plug the battery and unplug it really quickly. So like this. And then it's done. Oh, nope, it's still beeping. Plug it for like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, unplug. Okay. It's oh still my god! Beeping. How do you make it stop? Instructions. Alright, you gotta push the button. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I'll Every push the button time. Stop. That's annoying, isn't it? on it, which makes such a loud, obnoxious beeps, which makes it easy to find. So all we have to do is prevent them from hearing it. Exactly. It is very loud. 
So we need a place that is maybe far away mm -hmm. and that can muffle the sound. And you know this place like better than I do, it. so I'm going to rely on you watching me fly and kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do over here? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, gonna I'm going to crash. But how are you going to crash? I don't know. How should I crash? I think do you like have to bounce off something. something. Yeah, I think I think you need to like hit something hard to get that battery to eject. Okay. And then, but you want it to fling into a tree, so we're just gonna hope it. Okay, this is gonna be tough to get to actually happen correctly. I feel like it's so easy for us to crash on a daily basis, but now we're like like trying to crash. Oh. It froze. I don't froze? know if it actually. All right, if it froze, the battery's in park. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get ready. The time starts. Three, two, one, go! 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 go. go. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we gotta wait, wait, okay. We're gonna check in here first because. Oh, wait, everyone, wait, let's, let, let's just be quiet really fast. Everyone. I don't hear anything. Yeah, right nothing. Now. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. It's out here. It's out here. We're at two minutes now. It's about two minutes. They ain't got it yet. They ain't got it. Yep, I hear it. It's I hear over it. here. All right, so I see they're playing dirty. They're playing dirty. See how it is? You want to get up there? I don't... Oh, that's okay. I am team player here. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, I got it. We got it. I got it. Ah! Let's go. Yeah. They got the quad. Sean's a real team player. Yeah, you see those weeds over there? The really tall ones? Go crash over there. Dude, that's what he said. I know he did. I'll, I'll crash mine like the bush over there. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Make oh, yeah. them climb through I mean, the stuff. it's my drone. There you go. <laughs> Do we have to get back to them for the time? You got to get back to the truck. What? Time doesn't stop till you get Nobody back to the truck. Nobody gave us these fools. And done. Four, four, four minutes, minutes, 40 seconds. Bro. You make up the rules as you go, I swear. You may, yeah. Four minutes, Cheater. 40 seconds. Cheater. Cheater. Four minutes, 40 <laughs> seconds. That's, that's the official time. You know that whole story? about like uh, a bunny Your and mom. a turtle. <laughs> and the bunny stopped to brag. That's you. <laughs> I thought it was a hair. Hair, it's the difference. So now you guys are gonna fly this drone with our air tag, and we'll see how quickly we can find that. They're gonna expect us to put it in the grass because we just talked about it, right? So we're gonna put it all the way back. We didn't even go upstairs. All the way upstairs in the corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like take off and like full throttle over there. So they hear the quad go way over there. But then I'm gonna like go all the, around the back and I can go through that back door over there. Yeah, and then come in and go all the way over there. The second floor is hard to get to as well because there's a bunch of water. So. <laughs> okay, so, all right, here we go. I hear it. Oh, and it's getting quiet. It must be in the back room now. <laughs> it's about right in the corner. Alright, is it crashed? Go knock, go knock, go knock, yeah. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Let's go, let's go! Well, okay. no, see, it still says it's here. It does? It still says it's back by the truck, so it doesn't, it didn't like follow it as it went. I mean, I don't know how it would ever track it as it flew, but yeah, alright, I should do find. Oh no, that's my truck keys. How do I find? Find my drone. Find my drone. Find. Oh yeah, see, it says it hasn't seen it in two minutes. Searching for signal. We got nothing. We got nothing. Oh god. Okay, hold on, hold on. They're not gonna do exactly what we did, no. right? If they get past three minutes, then realistically, I think we won. Yeah. If, if they get if past four minutes, we definitely won. Come on. Come on, iPhone. Oh no, low battery. Oh no. I wish we could split up, but like it can only be paired to I mean, my phone. Uh, Although, oh my god, if you had an iPhone, you could run around and it would still ping me. Thinking. Do you have your iPhone on you? No, he's using it for a stop. No! I'm trying, to, I'm trying to reverse engineer how smart they might be. Because we were like, all we have is sound, so we tried to muffle the sound with the bush. If they were smart, okay. they would try to block the Bluetooth signal. Yeah, so they'd like that's a great idea. dumpster, maybe? Yeah. I got no clue. Yeah, we're at three minutes already. No, we got them. Yeah. Five minutes and four seconds. Even with Drew's cheating, we still won. Yeah. Even with Drew <laughs> cheating, we still won. <gasps> what? I hear something. Oh my god, it's the ESC beeper. It's the ESC beeper. It's going. <laughs> they didn't get the battery to disconnect. Oh, that's why this. Okay. You hear it? Yeah. 
Is it upstairs? Oh my god, it's upstairs? Oh wait, it's connected. Oh. I mean, I hear it. Is it on the other side of the wall? Yeah. It's either it up there. Like it's up in there. Maybe you okay. could go outside or... I don't, it's either I don't outside. Know. Dude, I don't know though. If the ESC beeper hadn't gone off. Shoot. <laughs> I mean, if you really have no clue where to... You have to be really close to it. I'm still... I still got nothing. I can't turn on my flash. Connected. 12 feet. 11. Now I got my arrow, which is good because I can't see anything. Yeah. I can't... It's so dark in here. More light required. Yep, found it. <laughs> we got it. All right, let's get it back to the... Hey. Well, hi guys. How are you? Hey. How are you doing your fancy software over there? Your fancy new technology? You better run. You're almost out of time. Better go touch the truck. You gotta touch the truck for the time to go, man. <laughs> Why are you walking? <laughs> 12 minutes and 30 seconds! Wow, that felt like an eternity. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Did it actually take you to the right spot? Like when you got semi close? The ESC beeper went off. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, it's 10 minutes, the ESC beeper's going off now. <laughs> Dude, we had to be so close to, to it. Really wow. We had to be so close to wow. it to connect. And then I didn't realize like, it actually uses, like through the camera, when it got in the dark. It said more light required. So, I mean, I was right. <laughs> I was right on top of it at that point anyway. But like, I guess it actually looks through the camera to like try and. Oh my god, that's crazy. So that is yeah. weird. Yeah. So we actually heard the beeper from the first floor. Oh my yeah. god. Oh and my made gosh. it to the corner, and I'm like, it's up there. <laughs> <laughs> when you're going in with just having no clue where the quad is, I, I hate to say it, but the, the loud, annoying beeps. I mean, that's what saved us. Yep. And clearly, it helped you guys get it real quick. Yeah. So all this fancy technology. Doesn't always help. Works for some stuff, but doesn't yeah. work for drones. So are they apparently. still annoying? Yes, they're <laughs> so annoying, but like, there's no question that it's the best option. Yeah. If your battery's gonna come disconnected, you have this baby, this loud, horrible buzzer. I mean, like, that's what you. I, I hate these things. Yeah. But if you're at all concerned about crashing and ejecting your battery, you don't want to risk losing your quad. It really is a great solution. It just has all these kind of obnoxious yeah. behaviors, but like. That's how you find it. Yeah, so yeah. I think I'm gonna put someone on one of my quads. No, don't do it, dude. I, I, I I'm trying to sell stuff, dude. I'm guys. trying to sell stuff. Just strap I mean, your battery with two battery straps yeah. and use Velcro underneath. Do it like that. And it'll never Quad. come off. But if you guys really want to feel extra secure, we do have these buzzers in the store. Rotorite.com. You know, you have a bunch of buddies. I've got a lot of my friends that use it, and they swear by it, and they yeah. just love it. They just got used to pushing the button when they unplug the drone, and they just don't have to deal with the beeping. I clearly love Apple products, but I don't think this really. Doesn't work for drones. I don't think it's really up to snuff for what we need to do. Thanks guys so much for watching this episode of Rotorite. If you really like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. We post videos every Monday, so hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned to our channel. Don't, I don't forget you, the bell. I don't want you to miss a single one. Hit the bell. Every Monday. Guys, I'm Ladrib. I'm Maker Riacha. I'm Bubby FPV. And I'm Let's Fly RC, and we'll see you next time on Rotorite.